Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we start, I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year. I know I said that in my last video, but it's a new year, so have some more happy new year. Since I already did a wrap up of 10 best books I read in 2017, I thought I would do a recommendation of 5 books you can read to kickstart your year. I know there are two types of people in this world. People who read like they breathe air, like me, and people who want to read more but have difficulty finding time to do that or motivation for that matter. So I thought I would give five recommendations of books that are not intimidating and easy to read and could motivate you to get in the mood to have a reading habit for the rest of the year. Now I don't know about you, but for me January is like the month to get motivated. Basically motivation runs high so I always get uh, inspired to change my life and do something new and you know stuff like that and for that purpose I thought this book would be perfect which is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle I'm going to stick with Tolle let me know if I pronounced that wrong at first I thought this book was about how to stop procrastinating but I was wrong <laughs> this book uh, talks uh, more about how to take control of your here and now it basically tells you that the past and the future is, are out of your control, that there's nothing you can do about them. The now is the only thing you can control ever. And it really teaches you how to really focus in the moment and really make the most of your time. Now, I personally think that the book has a lot of amazing points that um, could benefit your life. But at the same time, I also don't really agree with them all. That being said, I would still recommend people read this and, you know, take them with a grain of salt. Be critical about what you read. I think this book is perfect for people who like to be stuck in the past, like me, or people who overthink about the future, like a lot of people that I know. If you're watching this, this is the book for you. Still in the theme of getting inspired and being motivated to become a better person, I will take you on a different end of a spectrum with... Letters to Karen by Charlie W. Shedd. This book was recommended to me by my dad. It's a book on relationship. Well, particularly committed relationship. Well, marriage, actually. Based on the letters the author wrote to his daughter Karen when she's about to get married. Although it's about marriage, I think anyone in a committed relationship could relate to this book very well. I myself relate a lot to a lot of points in this book. And it is based on uh, experiences the author, who is a reverend, has had with his congregation. So when he counsels people before marriage or during marriage, um, he comes across a lot of examples that he could take lessons from. And he then imparts that on his daughter. I feel like this book is a really good book to be better at communicating with your significant others and basically have a better quality uh, relationship. Actually, even if you're not particularly in a committed relationship, in a committed romantic relationship, um, you can benefit a lot from reading this book too, I feel. While nonfiction and self-help books are really great and motivational, I think as far as reading goes, it is also important to be able to read fiction that doesn't intimidate you to actually get you going for the rest of the year. And for that, I think it's also important to have an intriguing storyline that will make you want to read more of the same stuff. And for that, I would recommend Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. This is probably the only apocalyptic humor book I have ever read in my entire life. And it's so good. The jokes are on point and they're not on the expense of someone else or it's not inappropriate in any way, it's not black humor. And the characters are very unique and interesting. To think that you can make the apocalypse funny is unthinkable until you read this book. It tells the story of like three groups of, I want to say people, let's just say three groups of entity who get the ball rolling to end the world. So there's the Angel Aziraphel and the demon Crowley and then there's um, the Antichrist with his gang of school children and then there's the four horsemen of the apocalypse. They all kind of have a role on the end of the world. And this one is actually going to be turned into a TV series I think by the BBC. 
uh, which will come out next year if I'm not mistaken but for something that's been published for over 10 years it's due time that it makes it to the screen I can't wait to watch it so you know make sure you read it first before you watch the series so you can see what the story is about another way to not be intimidated to read more is to read short stories I think and while I usually go for Neil Gaiman's short story compilations I just mentioned his name just now so I feel like it's uh, fair to mention some other author luckily I do have another short story compilation that I really love it is Dear Life by Alice Munro actually I think I did a video on this book before so I'll link that somewhere on the screen and down below in the description box I think it really fits the theme of January and New Year and New Start because each of the story inside this book is um, based on life-changing events either it's before the life-changing event, during the life-changing event, or after the life-changing event and it really shows life in such a beautiful way like literally slice of life but you know which slice you take it makes a huge difference all the stories are really easy to read um, a lot of them are really beautiful maybe you might even have some kind of emotional tendencies towards them but very short and simple personally I think I like the first story the most this that stuck with me until now last but not least we also have a fiction which is actually a whole book but very simple and very easy to read but also profound that is just the running theme of this video okay just bear with me I've never met anyone who's read this book aside from myself but I find um, the topic very unique um, and beautiful it's also a bit like life-changing it is Love to Walk In by Marisa de los Santos it tells the story of this woman who owns a coffee shop and she meets a man who came into her coffee shop and they kind of hit it off and then one day she finds out that this man has a daughter and I think, I mean I can't remember exactly but I think something happens to the man that leaves the woman to take care of his daughter and at first it feels a little strange because technically they're put together by fate she's not even supposed to be committing herself to this daughter because she doesn't really know the man just yet and the daughter is also actually a long lost daughter of the man himself so it's a very weird relationship that they have that being said they start to develop feelings and connections with each other and uh, embark on this strange relationship that they're having well strange friendship family ship I think it's very beautiful because it shows us that life always hands you the best thing when you least expect it and it doesn't always come in the form that you think it would come in and it doesn't come uh, in a traditional way that the most people usually go through I think it's very simple it's not at all dramatic or over exaggerated and just all in all beautiful so if you want something easy to read in the start of the year this could be for you so that's it for me today I hope you enjoy this video let me know if you have read or will read any of the books I mentioned before I think five is a good enough number for people to start their reading I mean it's not an intimidating number and it's plenty to choose from let me know what you would read to kickstart your reading year I would love uh, any recommendations that you can give me there's a blog post to come with this video in the description box down below uh, it's about five documentaries you can watch to start your year and if you have other recommendations of documentaries you can also leave them in the comments or in the blog wherever you want to do I guess that's it for me today well thank you for watching I'll see you next month bye